I don't remember if I played this or not. I'm going to play it again, I guess. Did I play this video of Mudohar shouting out the forum? I can't tell. That was before or after the stream. I guess it was after. Yeah, it must have been after. Okay, I'll play it. Okay, so um, Mudahar did a video on Chris Tyson, who is currently being crucified by the entire internet for being one of the most high-profile predator trannies in, in recent memory. Mudahar did one of his uh, videos, and uh, he decided to read some DMs live on stream, uh, and, or in the video, and they were very interesting. So let's see what they were, Chad. In the middle of a drive back home from New York and says, so glad you said there's legit info on Kiwi. She's referring to Kiwi. So this was Muda, all Mudahar said in the Keffels video, which kind of implies that Chris Tyson has a direct link to Keffels. Remember Keffels bragging about all his high high profile industry contacts that he could pull to get the pull the strings to get the kiwi farms taken down do you remember that hmm i wonder chat i wonder uh mudahara said like yeah people who do drama videos use the kiwi farms constantly and um it's funny i'm i'm not i'm tired of pretending it's not so that's what he said basically chris chris tyson heard this uh probably because it was in the keffels video and took such offense to it, he literally reached out by DMs. And it said, the way that this is uh, laid out says accept. So it's like he reached out for the first time to Mudahar just to scold him for doing this without any prior context. Farms. Legit being people telling people to go to my house and, you know, do something bad. That website is the reason my child has a gun pointed at him by cops. They rename my family businesses on Google, harass and dox my family members to the point where they don't talk to me anymore and are the reasons I had to move. So thank you for sending more eyes to the bottom of the barrel of the internet where transphobic- <clears throat> Mudahar, lowercase i internet. Because then you have to ask the question very smugly, which one? Just get it right, bro. Come on, you're, you're, you're like an H1B, right? You're one of the people of H1B. Can you not, do you not know the difference? Toby is encouraged by the creator who enjoys and has encouraged doxes of me because they think that I am a Jewish person being paid by Disney to transition. Now, this is a very wild accusation because if Ava took maybe even five minutes out of her life to watch the video that she is so hard on criticizing, then she would realize that I actually decry what the actual website would do if it means harassing and doxing anyone. There's no actual, you know, way that anybody can approve of that kind of behavior. This is such bitch made. And I wanna also complain about something else. Let me pull this up, I forgot to bring this up. Turkey Tom has offici officially irritated the fuck out of me. Um, Cause he has a direct line of communication to me. He can message me at any time. I don't mean to be like um, Rakeda and be like, you know, um, oh, if you have any concerns, you should just talk to me first. But literally, you don't need to talk to me. Uh, he says this, and I only have the screenshot of this from his video, where he says, in, in response to this exact thing, by the way, um, reading the message, encourage doxes of me because they think I'm a Jew being paid by Disney to transition. And then Turkey Tom continues and says, now I don't know if Null actually said that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and then he just, he just accepts this as fact. My, my Neezy and, uh, and Jesus. Okay. Listen, there is a thing called the search feature on the Kiwi farms. You can type in Disney or was it Jews? And then we type in Null. That's not how you spell null. That is, and then you search. And this is in the Ukraine war thing. It says, just blame Jews like a normal person pretending China has somehow been pushing LGBTQIP plus culture for 30 fucking years. When they photo forced Disney into Photoshop, gays kissing in their movies were barely anything but rice farmers when Hong Kong. This is me saying like, I think that this guy said, China was trying to force Disney to be gay when their movies like are censored to remove gays in them has nothing to do with Chris Tyson. And I'm pretty sure I'll go on a limb and say that in this thread, which at this point is a mere 230 pages in this thread, if you were to go back and search through, maybe I'm sure that there is some conspiracy regarding, uh, Chris Tyson's agency is, the same agency, I think it's owned by Disney, that manages a bunch of other people. And therefore, there was um, 
the conspiracy that Disney is trying to make more trans content creators. That theory probably does exist somewhere in that thread, uh, because I've heard it before. But to say that the Kiwi Farms is... Let me repeat this. Um, Telling people to go to my house and kill me. Flatly false. I would bet my life on it. Two, that the website is the reason my child has a gun pointed to him at him by cops. Um, If Chris Tyson was swatted, I guarantee you there's not a single fucking post or DM that is encouraging people to swat him or taking credit for swatting him. Three, they rename my family's businesses on Google. Um, And then further, they harass and dox my family members to the point where they don't talk to me anymore. Uh, I would say, number one, there's probably no post in this that takes credit for changing any business names on Google. They might have found a, like a business that was changed to something and then laughed about it. Um, maybe they dox family members, but that's different from harassment. And then this point where he says, where they don't talk to me anymore. Are you sure that they don't talk to you because you're a gross tranny that puts his kids into high heels? I would not talk to you if I knew you because of that. Um, and the reason I had to move... I don't know. That's your choice. So thank you for sending more eyes to the bottom of the barrel that where transphobia is encouraged by the creator. And this is specifically pushed on me who enjoys and has encourages taxes of me because they think I'm a Jew being paid by Disney to transition. That's a quote actually. So this is a direct quote. And I, I missed the part where it says by the creator. So this is explicitly being quoted as something I have said. So I don't think I've ever said dox Chris Tyson and his family because he is being paid by Jews from Disney or that he is a Jew being paid by Disney to transition. I don't think I've ever said that. And Turkey Tom reiterated that and said, maybe Noel said that. And then Mudahar also says, maybe Kiwi Farms did that. Both of you have unrestricted guest access. You can sign out and view this search engine and search just like a normal user without any any requirements. Tom has an account, and I wouldn't be surprised if Mudahar had a secret account, but you have access to this. You also have access, as a guest, for sure, the highlight feature. You can go back, you can click the highlight button, you can see every single thing that's ever been posted throughout this thread from the beginning, from April 2013, and you can see that none of them are posting things saying, hey, Go kill this guy's family. Swat his child. It's just fucking false. So, it bothers me that Munahar is willing to go out and say, yeah, this. And uh, Turkey Tom is willing to say, oh yeah, maybe he did. It's like you have full, unrestricted access to this website, including a search feature. Google even re-indexes it now. You can disprove this if you want to. You can ask, and I'll look into it for you. Even if you're going to make a video about it, it's, it's just so sloppy and shitty. Like Turkey Tom and Mudahar get paid literally hundreds of thousands of dollars to do internet drama videos in any other context. If you're being paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to do something, you would expect the bare fucking minimum. You wouldn't expect that. I don't know. Maybe (laughs) would be good enough. If someone asked you to do a report about something and you say, Oh, I don't know. Maybe they did that. That that would never fly in any other group except like, um, in this shit. Sloppy and shitty is correct. I don't know. It's just just like frustrating. It's like, okay. So, cause it's, it's just so frustrating because I do everything possible to keep everything as transparent as possible. And I'm still not owed or given any kind of like benefit of a doubt. And nobody ever tries to verify if anything is true or not. Like all you have to do, literally all you have to do, go to the top, open the search on the new tab, and then you can type in multiple users even. You can go you can even go to specific threads. If you just do this and then do this thread. Oh, let's see, Disney Jew. Let's see if it's anywhere by anybody. No, nobody, not a single person in the Ava Tyson, Chris Tyson threads at Disney, let's try Disney Jew, singular, just to make sure. Oh, there are several posts. Uh Uh-oh. Um. Oh, these are all, (laughs) these are all after that post. They're saying Disney Jew because they're quoting the message. Bro, come on. These are all from, from earlier. 
not a single message before Wednesday when they were replying to the Munahar post. I think there was one that was deleted? No. <sighs> Sloppy and shitty chat. All I got to say. And people don't demand higher. People don't have the intellectual curiosity. Even people like Turkey Tom, who have, a, again, a direct link to me, even though I'm banned from X, has a way to contact me. He can just send me a fucking message on the, um, on the forum, even. Chooses not to. Deliberately chooses not to do so and it, it just sucks and again and especially sucks considering that a lot of the information that started this was available on the forum all the shit about shadman by the way and i'll talk about that in a second also on the forum but when it comes to a benefit of a doubt nah jews disney jews surely somewhere is that's what that's the line of it too like josh is an anti-semite racist homophobe transphobe he must have said something about uh, Chris Tyson being uh, a, a Disney Jew tr a transition plant. That must be it. Like, surely. I mean, it's just like throwing a... Like, yeah, I mean, I guess he says enough stupid shit. <laughs> that, that would that would stick. I'm just not owned. I'm owned. No, no benefit of a doubt whatsoever. I'm just guilty of everything everybody says all the time. Literally in a court of law and otherwise. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!